ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு சாம் ஐஎல்ஸ் யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ வெல்கம் ஆல் த ஐஎல்ஸ் ஆஸ்பிரன்ஸ் ஹவ் யூ ஆல் ஐ ஹோப் யுவர் எக்ஸாம் ப்ரிப்ரேஷன் இஸ் கோயிங் ஆன் வெல் எஸ் இஃப் யூ ஆர் ரியலி லுக்கிங் இன் டு திஸ் வீடியோ அஃப்கோர்ஸ் யூ கேன் கேதர் அ லாட் ஆஃப் மெத்தட்ஸ் டெக்னிக்ஸ் ட்ரிப்ஸ் டு கிராக் த ஐஎல்ஸ் எக்ஸாம் ஸோ விதவுட் ஃபர்தர் டிலே லெட் கெட் இன் டு டுடேஸ் டாபிக் டுடேஸ் டாபிக் இஸ் நாட் ஓன்லி ஃபார் த ஐஎல்ஸ் ஆஸ்பிரன்ஸ் பட் ஆல்சோ ஃபார் த பீப்புள் ஹூ வாண்ட் டு லேர்ன் இங்கிலீஷ் இன் அ ப்ரொஃபஷனல் மேனர் So, what is about today's topic? Well, it is all about the complex sentences. Because in the IELTS exam, as well as in the normal English conversation, if we use the complex statements, then your level of English will be enhanced. So, if you really want to get band 7 plus in the IELTS writing, of course, you can visit www.samielts.in or our team WhatsApp number 90431-4080. well so let's get into today's topic so as i mentioned you today i'm going to discuss about the complex structures so what are these complex sentences it's quite simple one thing you need to understand when you combine a compound sentence and a simple sentence then it is a complex sentence i'm telling it in a very simple manner of course so there are few words that you can actually use in order to make your sentence as a complex sentence so here i'm going to give you certain words that you can actually use even though although if and all the modal words such as should would could might may will all these words is considered as a complex sentence so how to use all these words into your exam So I'm going to tell you a few examples that you can really understand in a quite simple manner. Right. So it rained all day. I went to walk. So these are all two simple sentences. So I'm telling that it rained all day. I went to walk. Even though it rained all day, I went to walk. Then it becomes a complex sentence. So I added the word just the even though in front of the statement. So when you combine two sentences with a word even though or although or why it becomes a complex sentence please remember the sentences should be continuous and more or less the first sentence should have a clause and the second sentence should have the effect for it then that would be connected logically as the complex sentence all right can you try this by yourself i want to stay i don't have time So these are all two different statements. So if you want to combine, of course you can combine with while or even though. Please try this by yourself and leave the comments in the comment section. I will reply to the comments whether it is correct or not. Right. Let's get into the modal verbs, which also plays a vital role in forming the complex statement. So what all these modal verbs? As I mentioned you, there are so many modal verbs such as should, could, might, ought. would there are so many verbs so i'm going to tell you what is the difference between the modal verbs and how to use the modal verbs in your statement well if you want to tell some probability then you can use the modal verb according to me it may rain it may which means you are not certain about something however you are telling about the probability when you want to discuss the probability of course you can use this modal verb may might these are all some of the probability related words so if you want to tell something about your own opinion however you are not sure about your opinion of course you are you can use this modal verb you should look into this you should look into this matter seriously so these are all some things should so you want to look into this matter seriously however you are not sure about it. this is the use of this modal verb there are certain things which has the higher probability for example must and will have the higher probability you will attend the exam which means you will you will means you cannot avoid it and of course the other verb is must you must obey the law so must means again you don't have any option to deny it. so if you want to say which is very certain about it then of course you can use the will and must however there are other words which is would and should would is something a form of possibility or a request i would request you i would like you to join so these are the words 
if you want someone something a reckless kind of thing to your friend or to your someone then you can actually use this word would this model works is actually used in the ielts writing task one especially in the letter writing because when you are interested to write the purpose of the letter you can write i would like to request you. i would like to come to you so these are all some words would should these are all some words which can actually enhance your sentences into the complex sentences very easy and the last thing is that the lesser probability so what are all the lesser probability if you look on into the lesser probability may might i feel it might rain i feel it might rain tomorrow so this might is the word you are not very sure about it however you want to insist that as your own opinion so you can actually use this model verb might this model verb usage will actually enhance your english speaking with the others as well as this will help you to get 7 plus band in the writing task one as well as task so practice these model verbs in your day to day conversations if you require any help or any support regarding the day to day conversation or you can approach www.samilts.in or our team whatsapp number 9043140880 fine see these model verbs actually enhance the sentence into the complex sentence next the usage of if if is a very good word then if you really use this word then you will get the statement converted into the complex for example let me tell you higher education bears free people who join more so this are two different statements i want to combine this statement with the if so you need to understand as i mentioned you the first statement is the conditional clause and the second thing is the result of the previous state for example i combine these two sentences and listen to me carefully if the higher education were free in my country comma lot of people lot of youngsters would join the higher education so i have just combined both the clauses with the condition so i have this tell a statement regarding the condition and in the second statement i have offered a result for my state this is called as the if statement remember if can be used alone or it can be used with them if the higher education were free in my country then a lot of youngsters would prefer to join the higher education so then as a statement if you are interested you can use the then or you can just use the if statement whatever it is whether it is a if statement or a if then statement then it is a complex statement so when you want to incorporate into the complex statement of course try to use the if then statement in your day to day conversation so when you want to improve your level of english to the basic to the advanced level this if will help you a lot to enhance your speaking vocabulary when you generally speak about the general truth for example exercise helps to make you strong this is a general truth or a fact when you want to speak about the general truth of course you can use the word could exercise could help you to make strong could so when you want to tell about the fact or the general truth it is in your opinion then you can actually use the word could to enhance the statement to the complex statement so when you want to tell about the obligation of course you can use If you want to use the conditional thing, then you can use the must and the will. If you want to tell some other thing about the uh, condition and the result, then you can use the if. When you want to contradict something, then you can actually use the even though or the although. When you want to tell something about the contradiction, you can actually use while also. Nevertheless, is a very good word if you want to tell about the contradiction. So when you are giving two different statements and you are joining this, nevertheless is a very good. Word. So you try to use these words, nevertheless, while, even though, although, all the model words, may, might, should, could, would, all these things will make your sentence into the complex sentence, which would enhance your day-to-day conversation. Also, try to use the word if. This would actually help you a lot to enhance your writing vocabulary as well as the speaking vocabulary. Remember, in the IELTS exam, complex statement will actually help you to get the bank seven plus 
in the writing exam as well as the speaking exam. If you are someone who are an IELTS aspirant who want to clear the IELTS in the 8 plus band in the first attempt itself, if you are struggling to get the band 7 in the writing, we have a special program called the IELTS Writing Intensive. It is just a matter of 15 days and if you spend 15 days, of course, for sure, you will get the 7 plus band in the first attempt. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe us. Also follow us in the Instagram. Thank you.